Would you like to reduce your net fleet fuel spend by 10 to 23%? Could you use that money in other areas in your company while reducing your carbon footprint at the same time? Click the link below and learn more. China's bet on the EV market has more than potential tariffs to deal with. The Diary 24 reports that a major player in supply of lithium is about to disrupt and control the EV battery supply chain. This will change everything. According to the article, China controls about 60% of the world's lithium supply chain. Sourcing of the raw materials comes from South America, Africa, and Australia. Enter Thacker Pass, Humboldt County, Nevada. A dormant volcano with enough lithium deposits to last centuries. Of course, environmental activists are trying to stop the already approved mining operations. I stressed activists, not a fan of activists. Actionists, people who actually are doing something about GHGs, circular economies, balance of resources, you know, like the people developing the mine to support EVs. Those are the people making a positive impact, and I can get behind that. Not to mention that it'll have three important global impacts. Communist China will not control the lithium and rare earth mineral supply chain anymore. China will have to reimagine a large portion of its economy for the future. And the United States will become the major source of the oil of the future. According to the article, the U.S. DOE estimates that the mine will produce 40,000 tons of lithium carbonate per year. That's 800,000 cars worth. Peak production will be reached around 2028. In the meantime, you can save 23% on your net fuel spend for your fleet while reducing your emissions. You don't have to wait around for that lithium to come out of Nevada. Click the link. I'll show you how.